Mac and Julia have just had a picnic under a shady tree. It is very hot, the sky is hazy, and the only sound is the chirping of crickets in grass and trees. Ah, gee, it's a hot day. Yes, I'd rather die than move an inch. <laughs> what a woman. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Ooh, there isn't a breath of wind. Must be about 90 in the shade. It's probably about... Now, wait a second. Let me look at my watch. I'll tell you the exact temperature. What on earth are you doing? It's, uh, let's see, 40... 88 degrees. Well, how do you know? The crickets told me. Oh, don't be whimsical. It's too hot. Oh, but they did tell me. Crickets are perfect thermometers. Nonsense. It's true. You count the number of chirps a cricket makes in 14 seconds, then add 40 onto the number, and you have the exact temperature. Well, how do you know? Well, insects are very sensitive to temperature. Tree crickets especially. Are you kidding me? No, it's the truth. The hotter it is, the faster they chirp. <laughs> it makes me warm just to think of them. <laughs> how about the Katie did? Well, at every four degrees, the Katie did's change. First, it's Katie did it, then it's Katie didn't, then it's Katie did. Then she didn't, and then she did. And finally, a mere Katie in around 60 degrees is just plain Kate. Oh. <laughs> in other words, life is just one argument after another to a Katie did. <laughs> yes. Below 40 degrees, all insects are silent. Unfortunately, in marriage, it doesn't work out that way. Oh, cynic. <laughs> just listen to those crickets. Yes. A cricket's life really begins at 40. <laughs> Strange as it seems, crickets actually are thermometers. To find the temperature, count the number of chirps a cricket makes in 14 seconds. Then add 40. If you compare your total with a thermometer, you will find the result to be practically identical. 